Hello there, and welcome to Pets Aplenty. Today on the channel, we'll be discussing all the facts about the Spanish Water Dog. As always, we've gathered all this information to help you make an informed decision if you are drawn to this beautiful dog. Before we continue though, we would love for you to become a member of the channel by clicking on the Join button down below. You can also review the perks of Pets Aplenty membership after clicking the Join button. Now, let's get into the video. Despite his water-loving nature, the Spanish water dog is not really a water dog. Instead, it belongs to the herding group. This ancient breed was initially bred to herd and protect a wide variety of livestock with little to no human guidance. They are versatile, willing to learn, and have the intelligence to respond accordingly. However, knowing about a dog is one thing and living with him as a companion is another. So, here's what you need to know if you want a Spanish water dog. Let's start off with this fascinating fact. The Spanish water dog uses so many aliases. Despite the breed's original name, the Spanish water dog, they're also known as Perro de Agua Espanola. Espanol, Perro Turco, Turco Andalus, and Andalusian Turk. While the exact origins of the Spanish water dog are up for debate, it is generally agreed that these names are tied to his history. The Spanish Kennel Club approved the Spanish water dog in 1985, while the American Kennel Club officially classified the breed as a member of the herding group in 2015. The Spanish water dog has superficial similarities to other breeds such as the Lagoda Romagnolo, Portuguese water dog, and the Poodle. However, this hard-working group has its own distinct style, starting with their distinctive curly coats. His single woolly curly coat hides every inch of his body, including his eyes. The breed comes in black, brown, beige, white, or party color. Thankfully, it isn't a heavy shedder, so you won't have to spend much time cleaning up after it. While there's no such thing as a truly hypoallergenic dog, Dog, a Spanish water dog may be a best friend for someone with a runny nose whenever they're around other dogs because of their low allergen coat. This medium-sized, hardy dog is frequently described as having a rustic appearance, especially when its naturally curly and woolly coat sometimes forms tight, tapering cords and hides its eyes. The average Spanish water dog weighs between 30 and 50 pounds and stands 15 to 20 inches at the shoulder. There is a noticeable size difference between male and female Spanish water dogs. It is possible, however, for some dogs to be much smaller or more prominent than the standard for their breed. The Spanish Water Dog is a loving, active, and devoted companion. Spanish Water Dogs have a high excitability and positive outlook, but they also build close ties with their human families. It's common for people who own Spanish Water Dogs to remark on how the breed strikes a nice balance between being active and loving with their owners. The breed is also good with kids and may quickly become your kid's best friend. But bear in mind that it is important to supervise all playtime with toddlers and preschoolers to ensure appropriate socializing and the establishment of healthy limits for all participants. Always have an adult present between a new dog and an existing pet at the first meeting. You can count on your dog wanting to hang out with the family and be the center of attention at all times. He'll love the excitement and variety of an active lifestyle. In return, he'll be your most devoted friend for the rest of his days. Keep in mind that Spanish water dogs are pack animals that need regular interaction with their human companions. If you take care of his requirements, you'll be rewarded with a vivacious and friendly dog who thrives on being an integral part of the family. This breed benefits significantly from early socialization as they are born guardians. It has a fierce loyalty and a natural instinct to defend, so with time, he may see himself as the protector of his pack and home. Spanish water dogs should be socialized early to help them quickly adjust to new circumstances and habitats. Start by taking your pups out to experience different sights and noises as soon as possible. Noise from cars and pedestrians, kids and other dogs, and the unexpected sounds of rain, thunder, and lightning. If you want your Spanish water dog to behave, you must follow a strict training routine and praise it when it succeeds. In the same vein, the Spanish water dog requires little in the way of special training. Over time, Spanish water dogs are proving to be exceptionally competent and flexible. They're also exceedingly obedient and eager to please. They respond well to problem-solving training methods such as those that include the use of a clicker. The Spanish Water Dog Club of America recommends keeping your dog's innate herding instinct 
instincts in mind during training sessions to ensure the best possible outcomes for both of you. This is because the breed was developed over centuries to assist farmers and herders in keeping livestock in check. The Spanish water dog's disposition must be taken into account. This breed tends to shut down if its training is too rigorous, losing interest in its duties. A regimented schedule is necessary to satisfy his strong will and his need for mental and physical stimulation. In addition, positive reinforcement and treats are in line to keep your dog encouraged and eager to learn. You should also know that the Spanish water dog is an active canine. As with most dogs, he takes charge of interacting with other people. His interest is piqued if you're the active, outdoorsy type who enjoys getting your heart rate up. Because of his boundless enthusiasm, he requires frequent and vigorous physical and mental stimulation. If you have a Spanish water dog, you should take it for a run at least once a day. You may enroll him in canine sports like agility, fly ball, or tracking to take it a step further. Since most Spanish water dogs are also adept swimmers, Playing fetch in the water is a fantastic way to tire them out without subjecting them to the danger of harm that comes with the repeated impact of retrieving a ball on land. Their size and inherent agility make them great for outdoor pursuits, but they also know how to relax and unwind at home. Talk to your vet about exercising your dog at different stages of his life. Reduce the duration when your Spanish water dog is still a puppy. This will help to protect his growing bone plates. When their bone growth plates are fully fused in adulthood, they can engage in a prolonged rigorous activity like trekking, jogging, or snowshoeing partners. Other than this, Spanish water dogs are generally healthy, although like dogs of all breeds are predisposed to several diseases and disorders. These include hip dysplasia and glaucoma. Not everyone will be affected, however, it's still vital to know the risks involved if you're considering getting one. Breeders who care about their animals' welfare will do health screenings to detect problems like hip dysplasia and eye abnormalities. Also, you must take your dog to the vet every now and again for regular checks on its health. In addition, the Spanish water dog also needs regular their grooming. The coat should always be left unbrushed and cut to the same length all over the dog. Some dog owners prefer to let their hair grow for many months to form cords entirely up to the owner's discretion. Despite the breed's reputation for minimal grooming, the courting process requires time, effort, and knowledge. Courting your dog's coat requires a different technique than that used on other corded breeds, so newbie owners should look for a corder familiar with the breed. Remember that dental and nail care is part of grooming. At least twice or thrice weekly, brush your Spanish water dog's teeth to eliminate plaque and tartar. Once a month, you should check to determine whether your dog needs its nails cut. His ears also need to be examined periodically for symptoms of infection. Do well to place your dog on a high-quality diet, whether the food is purchased pre-made or homemade, with your vet's consent. Find out what kinds of human foods your dog can eat and what types it can't, and ensure that clean water is always available. You should keep an eye on your dog's calorie intake and weight, since certain breeds are more prone to becoming overweight. If you're worried about your dog's nutrition or weight, it's best to see your doctor. These fundamental guidelines are for maintaining a healthy and attractive Spanish water dog. From all you've learned, do you see it as a suitable pet? Let us know in the comments section. Consider becoming a member of our channel by clicking the join button to get early access to our upcoming videos plus other membership perks. Also, check out our playlists and click on the video links that pop up at the end of this video. Thank you for watching.